Hello, I'm Dr. Elena Vasquez. Today, let's stretch your imagination as we travel across a single light year, the cosmic yardstick. We'll unpack what a light year truly means, explore its scale, and discover what it reveals about our place in the universe. From the speed of light to the vast emptiness between stars, we'll break down the science and the wonder. Ready? Let's embark on this cosmic voyage. So, what is a light year? Despite the name, it's not a measure of time but distance, the distance light travels in one year. That's about 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. To put it in perspective, you could fit over 236 million Earths side by side into a single light year. Even if you stretched all the roads on Earth end to end, you need to multiply that length by 150,000 to match a light year. It's a scale so vast, it redefines what far away means. This is the yardstick of the cosmos. The reason a light year is so immense is because light itself is the universe's speed limit, about 299,792 kilometers per second. In a snap of your fingers, light could circle Earth seven times. For a photon, a year-long journey means nearly six trillion miles through the vacuum of space. This constant speed, described by Einstein, shapes our understanding of space and time. It also means information can't travel faster. So when we see distant objects, we're seeing them as they were, not as they are. The light year is both a scientific tool and a source of endless wonder. It's the bridge between time and distance. Now, let's fill this vast distance. Our entire solar system, from the Sun to Neptune, is just a tiny fraction of a light year. You could fit over 2,000 solar systems end to end within one light year. Even the Oort cloud, the distant shell of icy bodies, fits comfortably inside. But mostly, a light year contains emptiness, an immense cold vacuum dotted with a few scattered objects. It's a cosmic desert on an unimaginable scale. The speed of light isn't just a distance, it's a limit on communication. If you sent a message to someone one light year away, it would take a year to arrive and another year for their reply. No technology can beat this delay. It's a law of physics. Interstellar conversations would be like sending letters with years between responses. This delay shapes how we imagine interstellar civilizations isolated with messages crossing the void like time capsules. The speed of light imposes a profound sense of cosmic solitude. So. Are any stars within a light year of us? No. Our sun is alone in its vast neighborhood. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.24 light years away. That's over 25 trillion miles. If the sun were a grapefruit in New York, Proxima Centauri would be another in San Francisco. The night sky is not crowded. It's a scattering of distant islands of light, separated by immense darkness. One light year is huge, but the gulf between stars is even greater. Astronomers use different rulers for different jobs. The Astronomical Unit, or AU, measures distances within our solar system. One AU is the distance from Earth to the Sun. Jupiter is about 5 AU from the Sun. Neptune, about 30 AU. But for interstellar distances, AUs become unwieldy. Proxima Centauri is 268,000 AU away. That's why we use light years for the stars. It's all about scale. AUs for our neighborhood, light years for the galaxy. The right tool makes the cosmos comprehensible. Here's a mind bender. Looking into space is looking back in time. The light from Proxima Centauri left over four years ago. Sirius, eight and a half years ago. Betelgeuse's light began its journey in the 1300s. The Andromeda Galaxy? Its light started when early humans walked the Earth. With powerful telescopes, we see galaxies as they were billions of years ago. Every telescope is a time machine and the speed of light is its engine. If light takes a year to cross a light year, how long would it take us? Our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, would need 1,500 years to travel just one light year. At those speeds, even dust becomes deadly, and the energy required is beyond our reach. Interstellar travel isn't just a technical challenge, it's a test of biology, psychology, and endurance. For now, it remains science fiction. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, 
is the farthest human-made object from Earth. It's traveled about 15 billion miles, just 0.25% of a light year. At its current speed, it would take 17,000 years to cross a single light year. Our greatest probe is still just outside our front door, cosmically speaking. Voyager's golden record is a message in a bottle adrift in a vast, silent ocean. These missions remind us how immense the universe truly is. As vast as a light year is, it's just a single step in the cosmos. The Milky Way is 100,000 light years across, with hundreds of billions of stars. Our galaxy is one of many in a universe 93 billion light years wide. Understanding a light year is the first step to grasping the universe's true scale. It's a humbling, awe-inspiring perspective. One light year, a distance that challenges our intuition and expands our sense of wonder. It's nearly 6 trillion miles, yet it contains mostly emptiness. It shapes how we communicate, travel, and explore. Each star you see is a postcard from the past, separated by unimaginable gulfs. Contemplating this scale connects us to something immense and beautiful. If this journey sparked your curiosity, join our community of explorers. There's so much more to discover, from the quantum realm to the edge of the universe. Keep looking up.